Hello and welcome to Water Quality. In this video I'm going to go over how to solve the pH of a weak acid solution when the weak acid is added as a base and I'm going to do this using a graphical approach. So to start with we're given that 10 to the minus 3 moles of sodium acetate, which is part of the acetic acid, weak acid system, is being added to a liter of DI water and we want to find the pH. So first of all, I'm going to write out the reactions. And the first reaction I'm going to write out is the dissociation of sodium acetate into its ions, sodium and acetate. And this is going to completely dissociate because 10 to the minus 3 moles is a pretty small amount and it's much lower than the solubility limit of, of sodium. So this is going to completely ionize. It's a one-way reaction. The next reaction I'm going to write out is for acetic acid. So acetic acid dissociates and it donates a proton, forms acetate. And this uh, reaction is described using an equilibrium constant, K sub A, which has a, a value of 10 to the minus 4.7. So the pKa of this weak acid is 4.7. And then finally, I'm going to write a reaction for water. Water is also a weak acid. It dissociates and forms hydrogen and hydroxide and has an equilibrium constant, K sub W, of 10 to the minus 14. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is to write out the proton reference level. Since we are solving this using the graphical approach, we're going to use the proton condition. Now the proton condition can be a confusing concept for students and Basically, it's a mass balance on protons. You're keeping track of how many protons are gained and how many protons are donated, and those things have to be even. And so the proton reference level is always what you start with, and we always start with, in water chemistry, water. And in this case, we're starting with sodium acetate, but the sodium is completely dissolving and that occurs before any uh, proton exchange. So we can describe this as starting with acetate. If you want, you can say sodium acetate and put sodium acetate dissociating, but I'm just gonna write acetate. Now I like to write a diagram when I solve these problems because it's helpful to visualize it. And I draw my starting point, my PRL, in circles, and then above these circles, I write what chemical you get if you add a proton. So if you add a proton to water, you get H3O+, which is equal to hydrogen ion with a water attached to it. If you take a proton away, you get hydroxide, and that's that. Uh, for acetate, you can't take a proton away from it because it ha doesn't have one to donate. You can see that looking at a, a, a table of acids and bases, but it can accept a proton and form acetic acid. And so at the top, I have my proton gainers, gainers, and at the bottom, I have my proton losers and I set them equal to each other, or their concentrations. So I have hydrogen ion concentration plus the acetic acid, which is equal to hydroxide, and that is our uh, proton condition. Let me label that here. Um, now, in the previous video, when I solved the pH using, um, or where acetic acid was being added, the proton condition was equal to the charge balance, and you can see that's not the case there. Not only that, you can have things in the proton condition that aren't charged. In this case, we have our acetic acid that doesn't have a charge, and it's in the proton condition. The proton condition can also be derived from a charge balance, so that's another way to, to get that value or that equation. So I need to find this on the graph, Find on graph, 
And so over here I have a log CPH diagram. And this is for acetic acid. And also it's just kind of applicable for a CTAC value of 10 to the minus 3 moles per liter. And I'm going to identify the, the species on this plot. So this line over here represents the hydrogen. This is the hydroxide. The blue line is the acetic acid, and then the red line is the acetate. So the way that I solve these is I look at the left and right hand sides of the proton condition and I, I kind of evaluate those separately. So on the right hand side, I only have hydroxide. So I'm going to start in this corner and follow the hydroxide line. And I'm looking for the place where it meets the hydrogen plus the acetic acid. So on the, on the left-hand side, I'm going to start this corner. And I'm looking at the hydrogen ion plus the acetic acid concentration. So it's going to be just above the hydrogen line because it's the summation. But not very much above because this is a log-log plot. And then where they cross, it will be a little bit above. So now I'm transitioning where acetic acid is the dominant species. And following that line here, so it's just a little bit above the acetic acid line. This on the right continues down, and I end up with this crossing point. So this describes the pH of our solution which is about 7.9 pH. So you can see using the graphing solution, we're able to determine the pH of a 10.3 or 10 to the minus 3 moles per liter solution of sodium acetate.